in this uh, section of Module 4 on confidence intervals, we will be examining Lecture 6, which is the construction of confidence in intervals for population data. The idea here is, is to give you another sample so that you'll be sure and have this down and you can distinguish between constructing a, a confidence interval for population data and the construction of a confidence interval for X bar. Some of you will recognize this little sheet here. This is a sample quiz that was posted out on the document sharing section. It is to be completed with the assistance, of course, of a note card and all this type garbage. But in problem one, it states a sample of albino Hungarian banded aardvarks has a mean hearing distance of 1,045 yards with a standard deviation of 75 yards. Construct a 95% confidence interval for all hearing distance values. The very first thing you should home in on is that of confidence intervals. So we're going to construct a confidence interval, therefore we would go to our confidence interval thinking map to determine what type of problem that we have to construct a confidence interval for. Well, if we read the problem, it tells us that we have a population of albino Hungarian banded aardvarks and we have a mean hearing distance which is given to us and a standard deviation which is given to us. Therefore, we know that this is a population confidence interval and we know mu and we know sigma. Uh, mu has a value of 1045 and sigma has a value of 75. Aha! This is absolutely a population confidence interval that is undeniable. Now we're ready to move. Our next question is, if this is a population confidence interval, or is, are we being asked to construct an interval for an individual data? Are we being asked to construct an interval for the sample mean or the X-bar distribution? Well, the data interval says for all hearing distance values. That phrase, for all hearing distance values, says nothing about a sample mean. Therefore, this is a population confidence interval raw data value interval. Now, if it's a raw data value interval, which of these two formulas should we use, which both formulas of which are under the population confidence interval? The first of those, mu minus z times sigma and mu plus z times sigma with upper bounds, lower bounds is for data. And the other one, mu minus z times sigma x bar and mu plus z times sigma x bar is for the x bar distribution. You are correct. We will utilize the first formula. Here, here is our formula. Mu minus z times sigma and mu plus z times sigma is the formula for the confidence interval for a data distribution of a population when we know mu and sigma. We could almost break into the song, plug it in, plug it in. We have mu equals 1045, sigma equals 75. From the word problem, our confidence level is 95%. And we can look at our z tables and discover that for a confidence interval, with a confidence level of 95%, z is equal to 1.96. Now we just plug them in and go to work. Here's our little aardvark. There he is. Here is our formula with the values plugged in. We plug in 1045 for mu, and we plug in 1.96 for z, and we plug in 75 for sigma. Now we would go to work first on this problem doing the multiplication before we did the addition and subtraction. So we would simplify 1.96 times 75, which turns out to be 147. So we have uh, 1,045 minus 147 and 1,045 plus 147. That turns out to be 898 and 1,192. Now we are 95% confident that a randomly selected albino Hungarian banded aardvark will have a hearing distance between 895 yards and 1,192 yards. Aren't you clever? Look at how you thought your way through that problem. First thing you had to do is to identify whether that was a population problem or a sample problem. 
You determined it was a population problem because it gave you, not only did it say there was a population, but it gave you values for mu and sigma. Once you determined that it was a population problem, you had to determine whether or not it was a data or an x-bar distribution. And since they asked for all hearing distances, you determined that it was an x-bar, uh, was a, a data distribution. Then you selected the proper formula read your problem again to get the values, plugged them in, simplified, and away you went. Stepping on the clouds. Now remember, this class is not your home. You're just passing through. Your dissertation's laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The learned will welcome you at graduation's open door, and you can't feel at home in this class anymore. One step closer to graduation. You gotta master this, get it done.